Okay, in this one we're going to talk about the gas flapper. We talked about the air flapper, which was inside here. The gas flapper, here's your gas valve. There's this drum, and the gas fla flapper is... It's right down here, and it's actually inside. And so I'm going to pull this gas valve off and pull this fitting off, and we'll take a look at... The flapper and uh, we'll also see if we could look at the orifice okay we've got the gas valve and that drum off and what we're going to do is we're going to take that fitting off that horizontal fitting that goes into that goes into the uh, uh, burner okay uh, I've got this gas valve assembly off with this drum. I can't remember what they call it, silly thing, but um, there's nothing in that thing. It's just a big hole. Just uh, fitting goes in here, fitting goes in here. Gas comes through this way. Uh, like so many things on this furnace, because it pulsed, uh, it would draw gas in, stop, draw gas in, stop. Well, it's doing that, I don't know, 60, 90 times a second. It sounded to me like it's probably more like 90 or higher, but whatever. Uh, that's going to take out the valve in this gas valve. It's not going to handle that. It's just going to uh, tear it up. So what they did was they put this in here. So it's a, it's a plenum. It's like a plenum. Uh, so when it draws gas, it draws from a large volume here and puts a charge in there which the gas valve will open when the pressure drops, but the pressure drops much slowly, slower when, uh, when you use this uh, type of a little planet. So, uh, I, you know, that's one of the things they use to keep from destroying gas valves. But that's why it's there. There's nothing special in it. Okay, now I've got the flapper mounted right here uh, from that union down. And we're going to take a closer look at the flapper and take it apart. Okay, there's your flapper valve. You can see inside it there. Uh, with all the holes and the valve itself. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble that. Okay, here we have it disassembled. Uh, this here is the flapper valve right there. It's actually set up very similar to the way the uh, air flapper is. It's just way smaller. And then this part goes right over the top like that. And this uh, that screw is tightened up with that nut. That's really all there is to it. Uh, you can see the same thing we had on the other one. If you look close, you can see that flapper in there, that thin membrane. And that is going to close off when there's uh, a pressure and open when there's vacuum. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a lot smaller. Don't seem to have as many troubles with these. Uh, I don't think I've ever replaced one. Uh, one thing, they work in really clean environments, so uh, because the gas is clean. Anyway, uh, that's what the gas flapper looks like. Okay, there's the orifice in there. That's right on the other side of that uh, this uh, flapper valve. Let's see if we can get a little closer on it. It's tapered on this side. That's really not the hole. You can kind of see the hole in there. It tapers down to it. That is the orifice, and they are interchangeable for the different size furnaces. Uh, but that is <clears throat> that's the uh, the only orifice that's on this uh, on this furnace. 